Amidst the escalating drama between Devin Haney and Gervonta Davis, speculations regarding their sparring session have resurfaced. Floyd Mayweather recently unveiled the reality behind the sparring session. Meanwhile, Adrian Broner admires Devin Haney's skills, but foresees Gervonta's immense power as a significant challenge for him. Adrian mentioned that he still believed Gervonta would land that decisive shot against Devin. He stated that he shared a personal bond with Devin and his father, clarifying that there was no animosity there. Adrian expressed genuine pride in Devin, acknowledging that despite the criticism he faced after the fight with Lomachenko, he believed Devin did enough to secure the win. However, Adrian added that when it comes to facing Tank, he didn't think any of them could outmatch him. Few acknowledge or pay attention to Tank's exceptional footwork and agility, but his mastery in maneuvering on his feet is remarkable. There's something distinctive about him, his ability to deliver that one-punch knockout power that sets him apart. Adrian also aimed to clarify what occurred during Devin and Devin's sparring sessions. Adrian mentioned that he wondered if he had ever seen him spar any of them and questioned what happened during those sessions. He expressed uncertainty about the details, mentioning that Devin sparred with Tank and it was intense. According to Adrian, as soon as they entered the ring, Tank landed a decisive blow, causing Devin to appear momentarily stunned. Adrian intervened, emphasizing that Devin was only 17 at the time. He noted that things settled and they resumed sparring. Adrian reported that Tank started to tire a bit, and as the sparring continued, Devin gradually gained the upper hand. However, Adrian added that in a real fight with eight ounces gloves on, things could be different. Meanwhile, Devin asserted that he nearly had the upper hand and almost knocked Devin out during their sparring session. However, Devin countered this statement by explaining that it was more of an equal exchange during their spar, with shifts in momentum as they both tired. He clarified that it wasn't an intense, one-sided domination as described. Devin elaborated, I don't even discuss catching him and almost knocking him out. Adrian intervened, calling it off, and there was a tense moment nearly leading to a scuffle because of the situation. Devin Haney's claims about hurting me are untrue. He's saying things that aren't factual. Devin continued to emphasize his point, adding, He's not being truthful when he says he hurt me or nearly knocked me out. That's not accurate. I sparred with him twice, and in the first instance, his father removed him from the ring after I nearly knocked him out at Floyd Mayweather's gym. Did they share that detail? Floyd Mayweather Sr. recalls the sparring session differently. It's not even worth asking because it was clearly one-sided, with Devin Haney dominating the match. Bill Haney, however, remembers the sparring sessions in a contrasting light, mentioning that Devin had a legendary spar with Tank. There's been a lot of buzz about it, and he was the first to bring it up. Now, he's speaking about his achievements. When he arrived, it was under doghouse rules, where the only way the money would change hands was if someone got stopped. Gervonta strongly opposed Bill's perspective, asserting, A mother can't even stop someone with 8 ounces gloves on. You think he can stop someone with 14 or 16 ounces gloves? Considering this, Devin doesn't believe that Gervonta genuinely desires to face him or anyone else. Devin remarked, No, I don't think Tank wants to take me or anyone on. Look at his track record. He's hardly fought anyone. I hold the title of undisputed champion, and my resume surpasses his. I don't sense any willingness from him to take on challengers. And it's evident. Devin played down the significance of the footage he shared regarding his sparring session with Gervonta, saying, I can't really speak about those two, especially the other guy. I don't pay attention to him but the clip he showed wasn't much. It mostly consisted of landing jabs, that's about it. He didn't showcase what I did. That guy claimed he didn't even know where he was, you know what I mean? They sparred twice, so you get my drift. In the sparring footage, both of them appeared evenly matched at times. It seemed like a back and forth exchange, though Floyd Mayweather has been an influential figure for both fighters. Devin believes that Floyd Mayweather somewhat disrupted the landscape of boxing. According to Devin, he suggested that they could revolutionize boxing's entire landscape, making it more like the UFC, where fighters face each other, experience losses, and fight again, possibly even for bigger matches post-defeat. 
Devin noted that Floyd had contributed to boxing's popularity, but he believed that Floyd's emphasis on maintaining an undefeated record somewhat distorted the game. According to Devin, this mentality discourages boxers from taking risks and pursuing challenging fights. Instead, they prioritize protecting their unbeaten status. Contrarily, Timothy Bradley sees Gervonta Davis as successfully emulating Floyd Mayweather's approach to matchmaking. Tim remarked, They've got him following Money May. That's the blueprint he's adhering to now. Ultimately, it comes down to the fighter's relationship with their promoter. It's a collaborative partnership, but the promoter's perspective might differ. The divergent viewpoints highlight the contrasting attitudes within boxing, with one side advocating for a more open and competitive approach akin to UFC, while the other acknowledges the influence of Mayweather's strategies on a fighter's career path. Perhaps your perspectives might differ, and there might not be a direct dialogue addressing those differences. However, if there's something crucial you aim to pursue in your career, a fight that holds significance for your legacy and beliefs, then you'd push to make it happen. Ultimately, promoters are meant to work for you, collaborating towards your goals. Despite complications arising from their ties to networks, if a fight is vital for your career, your joint efforts should make it possible. Simultaneously, Bill Haney claims that Devin is heralding the end of the Floyd Mayweather era while ushering in a new one. Bill expressed, What Floyd didn't accomplish at 25, Devin is achieving now. In the era of Devin Haney, things are happening that even Floyd Mayweather didn't achieve at 25. Devin is making significant strides a two-division world champion aiming for undisputed titles, securing substantial earnings, and diligently looking after his team of around 25 individuals. Notably, they haven't encountered issues with contracts, disputes, or broadcasters. This is the Devin Haney era, where the focus is on Devin's accomplishments and legacy. As for Floyd, he doesn't bring up his name in his conversations. He clarified the details about how the sparring session unfolded, expressing satisfaction with how it turned out. Floyd recalled discussing the Adrian Broner incident, specifically when Broner visited the gym a day before his fight against Sean Porter. Following Broner's victory, we went to the gym as he wanted to watch Tank spar with Devin Haney. At that time, Devin was in good form, whereas Tank wasn't at his peak, but they still engaged in intense training. As the debate continues, the focus shifted to the next generation, symbolized by Devin Haney. Bill Haney sees Devin as the torchbearer for a new era, achieving milestones that even Floyd Mayweather didn't reach at the age of 25. The narrative emphasizes Devin's accomplishments, legacy, and a commitment to advancing his career without the entanglements of contractual disputes. Ultimately, the diverse perspectives underscore the complexity of the boxing landscape, where personal bonds, promotional strategies, and differing philosophies shape the narratives of individual fighters. In this evolving era, marked by the accomplishments of Devin Haney, the focus is on forging a unique path and leaving a lasting legacy, unburdened by the shadows of the past. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned and we will catch you in the next video.